Hello everybody, we are back here at the Big Cat Sanctuary and this is going to be our very last Friday Live. Yes, uh, I, we've heard from all of you, I think you've enjoyed them so much over lockdown. We have of course come slightly out of that. We are open to a certain extent at the Big Cat Sanctuary and we've got a doctor's days and we've got lodge days and experiences happening and of course we've got our members days happening in september if you haven't signed up to those exciting events we've got mr giles clark himself coming here he's going to be talking about bears about the house and other conservation work that he's involved in and we've got some activities some talks with our education team and of course you get to see our amazing cats so the only way of getting on to that event is by becoming a member so if you want to come here over September from the 11th to the 14th, then you've got to sign up to membership to be part of that. Another thing that's happening with these lives. So we've had so much popularity of these lives that uh, you know, in this day and age, it is a bit uncertain out there. So we need to make sure that we're maintaining some sustainable income to keep the sanctuary going, to look after our cats to do our education work and to carry on with our conservation partners in the wild. So we are going, Facebook has allowed us to get a subscription service running for our lives. So we're gonna to go to Saturday for our, our lives and you'll have to sign up to that subscription to get access to those lives, to also get access to some other exclusive content to get our conservation conversation debates happening and some other amazing stuff. You'll also get a supporters badge, a Facebook supporters badge as being part of that group and access to a supporters group forum where you'll be able to chat with your other supporters and give messages and get exclusive pictures and videos behind the scenes at the sanctuary. So it's only £3.49 a month for you to join up to that and that's where we're gonna head and hopefully you'll come with us, be part of the family on Facebook supporters and support the Big Cat Sanctuary and all the work we're doing for our cats and conservation. So thanks guys. And for our last episode here on Friday Facebook Live, we are gonna be joined by our special snow leopard cubs and mum and dad as well are gonna join in the fun. So we've got some enrichment and over over the far side, we've got Ricky, say hi Ricky. And Ricky's just about to let those lovely cubs, Koshi and Kumbu, out for a bit of enrichment. You've seen these lovely boys before. We've got a boulder. Oh, there he is. There we go. We've got some Hessian sacks that they sprayed with some perfume and some other scents to get these boys excited. Bit bolder than his other brother, who's hanging back waiting to see where the mum and dad are going to come out as well. But Ricky's just coming round the side here for us. Hi, Ricky again and Ricky is going to open the doors and let mum and dad in on the fun. You've seen the cubs having playful fun with their enrichment before, but we're going to see whether or not mum and dad want to get involved as well. These boys, obviously, if you guys have been watching from the start of things that we've been doing, this grown even bigger still, and I think the boys are a bit bigger than mum now. Ricky, yes? Yes, definitely. They're um, pretty much the same size and uh, probably the same weight as her now. Amazing. Just for the guys at home, Ricky. So how, how old are the boys now? Josh and Kumbu are almost a year and a half old. So their birthday was in April, on April the 26th. <laughs> so they're uh, in big cat terms, they're real unruly teenagers, as you can see. As you can see. Well, we can see one of them. That's, <laughs> this that's is one of the reasons for the guys at home. Uh, they may be new, may have joined us, but there is a little bit of a difference between the two cubs. And for those who don't know, who is this guy here? This is Koshi. Uh, and Koshi, from the very start of his life, has been the most boldest, independent, and inquisitive, cheeky little cub that I've certainly ever seen. And uh, he was, as you saw, straight out onto that enrichment, and he's having a great time. And just to show the big difference between them, Harry, behind the camera, if we have a little pan across, you can see the difference between this little cub over here, who's having fun, and what is his brother doing, Kumbu? Kumbu is a real mummy's boy, always has been, so he's just stuck to his mum just for a bit of reassurance. And I'm sure they're going to watch Koshi uh, make the first steps of testing up the new enrichment and then um, become interested a little bit later. Yeah, it looks like he's uh, he's gone straight to mum, right? And just sort of gone, what's that guy doing over there? Is it safe? And we just pan back again <laughs> for the action shots this side. <laughs> Here we go, Koshi, <laughs> having as much fun as you can with the Hessian sack. 
So for the guys at home, I, I was saying earlier, we, we've sprayed some of this with, with different types of perfume, is that right? Yes, so the, the bag that <laughs> Gosh is currently on uh, was sprayed in Calvin Klein perfume. Uh, the other one that was hanging up was covered in catnip. So we try and use different smells just to keep the cats interested and see what works best for stimulating them. Well, he's definitely interested in that. And that's, that's something that might replicate what in the wild for them, Ricky? In the wild, they'll be coming across lots of different smells, whether it's feces or urine from other predators or prey animals. Uh, we don't have access to prey species here because we are the big cat sanctuary, um, so, but we do have lots of different novel smells like perfume aftershaves, herbs and spices, and uh, so it's really good fun for us as keepers to test out what gets the cats excited. Having a little rest there, I think he's even slightly drooling at the, the smell of Calvin Klein on a Hessian sack, and why wouldn't you? So we saw then, sort of, um, his face, it almost looked like he was taken in the uh, smell. Would you be able to tell us a little bit more about that and what it's called? Yes, so uh, lots of different species, the cats especially have this special organ in the top of their mouth called the Jacobson's organ. So what he was doing was the flame and response, and that is where these guys will take in different scents and will analyse them, basically. Um, so in the wild, you might find that a male snow leopard comes across the scent mark of a female, You'll do the flame and response to see whether that female's in season, how old she is, uh, where she might be, and um, so they kind of get information from that. A powerful look at that Hessian sack as he got caught on it. Looks like I don't like you anymore. It's like a punch bag. <laughs> so we can see where Koshi is now. I mean, so partly the design of enclosures. We we always tend to try and tailor that towards the species. So what is there inside the enclosure there that sort of helps out a snow leopard? Well, these guys are naturally from places like the Himalayas and Central Asian mountain ranges. So we've tried with what we can to add in some shingles and some rocks. Um, it's on a shadier part of the site. And uh, these two have the best time hiding around the rock pile and playing stalk the keeper, especially when we're doing our evening checks. And um, yeah, these guys really do enjoy their environment. Brother seems to be not interested at all. Timber's gone up the tree. Timber's gone up the tree. So we've just got a singular snow leopard cub to focus on at the moment. There we go. <laughs> a bit of action. So this this sort of enrichment, how often would we provide this for these for the cats? We try and enrich the cats every day but we'll try and rotate what they get so it might be that the next time they get something it will be something novel like a, a boomer ball or a cardboard box which they like to absolutely destroy into a thousand pieces it might be something like camel fleece or sheep's wool that we can just put around the enclosure but for today it be something really, really fun for them and smelly at the same time which will help Koshi and probably later on once he's uh, got his confidence up boom boo just burn a lot of energy uh, whilst they're these bags. So yeah, these guys have grown up, but they're still cob-like, so they need to burn up some energy. And um, you know, is it, how are they going to develop? I mean, they're just, just over a year now, so how long will it be before they become adults? So usually between 18 months and two years that these guys would be seen as um, ready to leave mum in the wild. And then we find in captivity that these guys are ready to breed from around two to three years old. So these are part of the breeding program for their species. And hopefully within the next few months to later this year, even next year, we might start to find out about where they might be recommended to move on to part of this extension. Great to hear. Um, so, so the breeding programme, Ricky, that's, that's really interesting. I mean, we've, we've talked about it a few times on the live, but maybe just remind people why we're actively involved in an endangered species breeding programme. We want to be, we want to be helping these guys out in the wild. And by having them in captivity, they're like an insurance policy. It's extra genetics, it's keeping a healthy population for the general public to come and see and just fall in love with. And the hope is that by raising uh, awareness and money from these captive cats as part of these breeding programs, we'll be able to fund projects that help their wild counterparts and then in turn, in the future, make the wild safe for the captive animals to be able to be supplemented into. Amazing. <laughs> He's discovered he can attack the Hessian bag from above as well. 
trying to grab that up there. So this is not only a uh, sort of a sensory enrichment for them, but also a physical workout yeah, for them. Definitely a physical workout, but he will be absolutely nothing like that, uh, which I'm sure his parents will very much appreciate. Um, he loves to jump around, jumping on his dad. Um, same with his mum. So she's, she's actually just sitting next door watching him. So I'm sure she'll appreciate that he'll be very tired later on. <laughs> I'm sure they will. It's, so, interesting, I mean, we, we were saying with the, the, the mum and dad might get involved, they're obviously just hanging back and uh, letting Koshi have his fun at the moment. But in, in the wild, I mean, we have these guys mixed together here at the sanctuary, but that's, that's unusual. Uh, that wouldn't happen necessarily in the wild, right, Ricky? No, so most of these cats are naturally solitary. We are just incredibly lucky that Layla and Yarko, so mum and dad, get on as a pair really well. Um, they're like a little married, married old couple. And um, Yarko as an individual is very relaxed. He's got a really good temperament. So that's why we took the decision to mix in the cubs with him when they're about four months old. And he took to it really well. And yeah, we are incredibly lucky that now we have this social unit, which gives them real stimulation and interaction and just gives them lots and lots to think about all the time. Um, rather than just being on their own. Very good, giving them the best environment whilst we're here at the Big Cat Sanctuary looking after them, which is amazing. And I mentioned before, ladies and gents at home, that we had our Members Days in September. Now, one of the big things that's happening on Members Days is that two lucky people are going to be the first members of the general public to actually have a hand feed with these two gorgeous cubs, Koshi and Kumbu. So if you want your chance to be one of those lucky winners, then you can buy your Snow Leopard hand feed lottery tickets online. And then, yep, yeah, sign up, become a member, and you'll be a chance to have me here on the day when we pull the ticket on the Sunday of our members days there. So two lucky people to get the chance to hand feed one of these cuddly and amazing cubs up there, just showing off his power and strength attacking a Hessian bag for you. Brother still not in sight anywhere. Gone up a tree, we believe. Probably to pester his dad. So good morning everyone, if you've just joined us, we're watching, it's just Koshi now, we, we did want the whole of the family, but Koshi is the one who's come out to play. He's with Hesse and Sack, he's just had his scent in Richmond. So this is going to be the last one of our normal Friday lives. We're going to be moving over to Facebook fan subscription service, which is going to be £3.49 a month. And with that, all of our lives are going to be going through that. So why not become a supporter of the Big Cat Sanctuary? What we're trying to do is build a community of supporters through Facebook. And you get loads of perks if you sign up to this subscription service. You'll get behind the scenes content. You'll get all of our lives, including our conservation conversations. You'll be invited to the Facebook community group as well. And you also get a supporters badge. So why not become a, become a supporter and, and help out the Big Cat Sanctuary? Everything that we make through the subscription service will go directly towards the care of our cats. Great, thank you, Harry. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be having lots more of this of this content. Obviously, as a as a member, you'll still get uh, your, your own exclusive content through your e newsletter, and you'll still retain the right to have prior notice of all of our events and, of course, those members' days that we're looking at. So it's a very different service to a, a, a membership subscription. It's just looking at our online Facebook content and uh, exclusive behind the scenes stuff and all the things that Harry mentioned there. So. Uh, great chance to become more involved with the sanctuary and support us so uh, just looking at the stuff we do with conservation ricky so uh, harry mentioned it there's one of our things so for snow leopards you know what's what's facing them in the wild what what sort of challenges have they got and, and how can we help them it's mostly things like habitat destruction um and the growing community of people that live in these these more rural areas of south central asia a lot of these guys will be shepherds, uh, livestock herders, and for a large cat, something like a goat, which makes above us. It's just uh, our, friends, our friends next door at uh, Headcorn Aerodrome yeah. uh, flying uh, past. So sorry Ricky, say that again. So for a large cat having something like a flock of goats walking around in your, your territory is going to be a nice easy option for getting yourself a meal. And, and obviously these people that are living in these areas, being livestock farmers, are usually quite poor. So 
there's, there's a conflict issue. So we have uh, supported the Snow Leopard Trust and just having the babies here has enabled us to support the Snow Leopard Trust even more um, to try and help these guys out in the wild. Amazing. Well, I think Koshi, if we just have one last look in over there, Harry, I think uh, he's, uh, he's given up on Hessian sacks for a while. His brother's not even bothered for, for a little bit. Very relaxed, all the snow leopards. Mum just looking on and seeing Koshi's antics. But uh, as we've been joined by a very noisy aeroplane, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to leave you just with Koshi playing away with the Hessian sack. We hope you have enjoyed all of our Friday Facebook Lives. And if you have and you want more, please sign up to that subscription service. By doing that, you are going to be supporting our welfare, education, and our breeding and conservation programs here at the Big Cat Sanctuary. So thank you to everyone that's been involved, sent Facebook stars and got involved with our Facebook Lives. You can carry on doing that by becoming a subscription member. So sign up today or become a member you'll be helping us do the work that we do. Thanks everybody and we'll see you again soon for a Saturday Live coming very soon at the Big Cat Sanctuary. Thank you.